Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Nightwing2303.com. Um, this is going to be my participation in the uh, 23 Days of Air Jordans, um, first presented by, to my knowledge, by Hess Kicks. Um, I'm going to have his uh, YouTube channel uh, in, the, in the description box below, so if anybody does not know who he is, um, just go ahead and look at the description box, click his link, and then subscribe if you haven't already. He's got a bunch of cool stuff and cool content. Um, basically, this is going to be 23 days of J's. So from today all the way up until 23 days later, I will be uploading a video. Hopefully, they'll be short. Um, and it's just going to basically be from uh, 1 through 23 in chronological order. Um, I'll be showing my favorite colorways or colorway and then um, if, I, if I even have it, because uh, some of my older model, or I wouldn't say older model, but some of the later model Jordans, I only have uh, like one or two pairs maybe. So, um, but basically this is my very favorite uh, colorway of the Air Jordan 1. This is the Old Love, and I pretty much wore these to death. Um, there's some sole separation uh, along the sides here. They still can be worn since the midsole is attached by stitching. So if any of you guys don't know, uh, the Air Jordan 1 is one of those like real durable models. Um, however, there's a lot of yellowing along the midsole, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. But um, basically, I just I wore through these like crazy. Um, I wore these almost every single day from the date that I got them. And then I put them in the box for a little while. And... Uh, you know, the last time I had worn them is when I noticed that they started to separate, especially like right here where everything flexes. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. I wanted to wear these in the Air Jordan project um, that I had been doing with all the performance reviews. However, these are a mid-cut, so I wanted to keep or try to keep everything as close to what uh, MJ would be wearing on court or would have worn on court. So I went with the, uh, I think it was the... 60 plus pack Jordan is the the, the Celtics one. So, um, but yeah, this is the Black Toe Air Jordan One. Um, these came out quite a few years ago uh, in the Old Love New Love pack. I actually gave away to a friend of mine the black and yellow pair because I only wanted this one. This this is I don't know what it is about this colorway. It's so simple, but this is just my favorite colorway of the Air Jordan One, um, pretty much of all time, and. Um, I just really like it. So uh, the Air Jordan One for me is one of my favorite Air Jordan models to date. It's just like one of the cleanest, the most simple. Um, you know, you can pretty much wear these all throughout the year, no matter what. Um, typically, I only really like the OG colorways, uh, just because they have that nostalgia factor um, with with the shoe itself. However, there are some colorways that are really nice that are not OG and um, my favorite non-OG colorway is actually a low top version. Um, I don't remember when these came out. Let's see, looks like 2006 or 2007 is what it says on the on the, the tag there, but basically um, this is this is probably my favorite uh, non-OG colorway and this is before all that you know that fat tongue stuff so these are got the thin tongue which I like I don't really enjoy the, the way that the fat tongue looks um, but you got the 23 on there and um, this is a uh, this is a new buck and then you have leather going all the way around the sides you got a jeweled Air Jordan logo which is turning yellow uh, clear outsole and then you have your mid panel and your toe that are 3M and it's uh, that, that mesh material that is very close to the uh, Air Jordan 13 black and red. So the thing that I like the most about them is, hopefully you'll be able to see this, but um, there is, uh, I'm using my iPhone here, but there is 3M along the side panels here and I just think it looks amazing and I just really, really like it. So. Um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have any real stories with these. It's just the first time I saw the Air Jordan One. You know, it was in a it was in a picture. Um, it was in a weird picture. It was in a, a picture that was in a magazine of some kid's room, 
who was a fan of basketball, so the room was all decked out with uh, basketball furniture. Um, like the bed was like, the bed post had basketballs on it and all that stuff. And at the foot of the bed, there was a pair of Jordans laying there, kind of like this. And there was a pair of Air Jordan 1s. And I mean, I just was just like, man, those are, those are so fresh. I just have to have to try to get a pair. And this is before all of the whole retro uh, stuff was going on. This was back in like, I want to say it was like 1990. 91 something like that so this is this is way before any of the uh, even the 94 retros um, so basically that's that's when I first fell in love with the Air Jordan 1 model and it was something about that shoe maybe it was the fact that it was unattainable at that time that I just really really wanted it and I love that old school look so um, I'm probably one of the few people that actually likes the original Air Jordan logo um, the wings logo and uh, I think that that just you know, it's it's one of those uh, timeless classics, in my opinion. So, this video is a lot longer than I had anticipated, but um, basically what I'll be doing, like I said earlier, is uh, 23 days of J's, so today's day one for me. Um, everybody else started yesterday, and this is the Air Jordan 1. Tomorrow I'll post up a video of the Air Jordan 2, and if I have any stories with the shoe itself, I will make sure to note them or speak on them. Uh, but basically this is my favorite colorways. I like the black toes. I um, actually don't like them. I love them. I think that they're beautiful. And uh, as far as like a non-OG colorway, it's actually this black and red low. Um, and I just think they're really clean. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, watching and shout out to Hess Kicks, uh, DJ Hess. Um, again, his, his stuff is going to be down below in the description box. Um, I think this is really cool. I haven't really partaken in anything too much as far as like sneaker community goes. I've been pretty much, uh, you know, behind the scenes on everything. I support everybody else and all that stuff, but I don't really like do too much as far as like interaction or being involved. At least not to me, anyways. If I if I actually am more involved than I actually perceive myself to be, then that's great. But hopefully, uh, you know, I just want to kind of let everybody know I'm just a regular person. I'm not anybody special and I love sneakers and uh, this is going to be basically my appreciation of their Jordan line um, 23 days of Jace so thanks guys and until next time have a good one